everyone. Welcome. How is everybody today? Who we got watching? Excuse me for just a minute while I do a few tweaks here. Y'all having a good day? started. Thank you for joining me. I'm not doing any alerts. I'm just going live at my usual times. So I just feel more comfortable. Now this is a wreath that is for a family member. She requested it for her daughter and her daughter loves owls. And we're going to be using two 10 inch mesh, this one and this one. We're going to do the ruffle. It's cut at 30 inches. Hopefully I'll be able to see your comments. If you have any questions and I don't answer right away, I will answer them after. So if I miss them, please know I will, I will Definitely get to it as soon as I can. Like I said, we're doing 30 inch ruffles. I use tinsel ties. I do not use pipe cleaners. They just never seem sturdy enough for me. So we're gonna alternate this was at the request of the customer. Everybody staying warm today? I'd like to turn it under a little bit. colors out of the sign. Again, this is a 30 inch ruffle, 10 inch wide mesh, alternating colors. I pinned my um, links at the top of the page. Hi Pat, hi Dawn, hi Susan, welcome. Feel like you need a bigger craft table. <laughs> I feel like I need a bigger craft table. I didn't have so much stuff on it. It'd probably be okay. My tinsel ties are cut at 12 inches. It's a nice, um, length, especially when you have such a wide ruffle and when you're going to be adding stuff. Tried to keep this all neat. Not working. John, would you mind sharing the link to our design group? Don is one of the designers in our design group. We have a private group. Oh, we went over painting the other night. Um, I did the, the flower fairies. 
We do everything in our design group. I know what you mean, Linda. I'm always looking for color ideas. I thought this was a nice combination because this is kind of like a flat where this has, you know, some stripes in it. It has the metallic. That's the, that's the part I find the hardest. It's not picking out a sign. It's deciding on what colors would look right with the sign. Now, are you in any groups? Patty or Linda or Susan? There's so many out there and there's so many cool ideas. This sign is from Affordable Wreath Signs. I got it on Etsy. I sent my sister-in-law a few different ones and that's the one she chose. And I saw somebody did it as a spring one. It had a lot of real pretty colors. But this, this is gonna be in her daughter's home. So she kinda wanted the colors to go with for furniture. And I thought she'd want, you know, like a pancake style because this has to be shipped. And she said, no, go for the ruffles. So I'm like, yay! Because I really wanted to do the ruffles on it. Oh, okay. So you're in Tequila's group. Tequila's in our design group. She has that group with two others, and then she's a designer in our design group. She did a mailbox swag when it was her turn, and boy, did that turn out beautiful. Dawn did a gnome wreath. Dawn's up next. She's on Friday night. And whenever I do um, a wreath, and this sign, like I said, was a purchase from Affordable Wreath Shop on Etsy. Whenever I do a wreath that is going to entail using someone's sign, I always contact them and give them the heads up that I'm doing it. Because that way they get to see what was done with their sign. I mean, it's always nice to see what people design with your product. I love that the most when I'm selling items. Like I've sold a couple of reindeer this week, so I always like to see what everybody's going to do with it. Linda, I'm in Hughesville, Pennsylvania. Where do you live? These are 30 inch ruffles. This is a DT frame that I added um, tinsel ties to. I do not like using pipe cleaners anymore. They just rot and fall apart too too easy. So I want my stuff to be secure. Even if it's not going to be out in the weather, I want it to hold up a long time. Okay, I know where that's at. had some friends that lived in Johnstown. They have since passed on. But really nice people. I 
I would have liked to put this sign on an evergreen or a grapevine too. So I could go really like woodsy with it. But I think this will look good. If you guys haven't, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because you never know when you're going to end up in Facebook jail. So it's just nice that you'll be able to find me if you can't find me here on my usual Mondays and Wednesdays. I put the link in there. My town is in northern central Pennsylvania. Are you familiar with um, Williamsport, the home of the Little League World Series? That's where I'm at. I'm like 15 minutes from there, which is just enough when the World Series is going on. <laughs> very cold here today. We had some snow the other day. It didn't last, but it's very cold. Colder than normal this time of year, but I'm sure you're all experiencing that. Easier since we're getting to the curly ones. Easier to put that on that end to kind of hold that out of my way. There we go, that's better. I see this okay or would it be better if I kind of zoomed in there how's that kinda better be using my pearly weights that I got from Pearl when I went to the Wreath Gala in New York. She's awesome. I can really tighten down with these tinsel ties. I get them from Craft Outlet, Trendy Tree, Sims. It comes in like a, I can show you. Like this. 26 inches. It's called deco. It's called rope tinsel, is what it is. And then I cut them in 12 inches. This runs like a dollar something. I have them in just about as every color as I can get. That way it matches everything. Guys, start your Christmas shopping yet?
like this tan. It's kind of got burlap running through it. Appreciate sharing if you don't mind. Really helps us when we get seen by new people. And it's appreciated. You're supporting my small business. Okay, one more. I love these two colors together. since I did a wreath. I've been working on all kinds of stuff. Carolers, gnomes, pet stockings, reindeer. Didn't want you guys to think I forgot. All right, now when I showed my sister-in-law the ribbon today, these were the ones she chose which kind of go nice with the sign. We've got a, um, this one's from Sam's Club. This one's from Sims. This one, I'm not sure where that's from. That, it's not Sam's Club. And then this one was from another company. So this is what she chose. So, let's see how it all looks together. Start on the bottom row, and let's see which one looks better. That one, I think this one, because I think the brown will look better. And, well, yeah, brown will look better. And the other one. I cut these at 13 inches. We also have um, a community group. It's called Fabulously Fine Designers. Don't hesitate to like that page too. If you're interested in joining our design group, that would be Team of Dream Designers.
like the sparkle. Hello, Donna. How are you? Donna, I did send you a message because you showed up as wanting to join our private group and I wasn't sure if you were interested in that or hit it by mistake. We have a community group, which was fabulously fine designers. And then we have a paid group, which is dream, Team of Dream, Team of Dreams. I don't know about these colors. not liking that too much. It's kind of that has both colors in it. Well, this is too close to that, but yet if I switch it with that, that matches this. So, I don't, I I'm not liking what what um, what we discussed. I'm looking to see if there's something else in the sign that I can pull from. Let me see here. We're at a dilemma. Because I don't think I like that combination. Unless I went with this instead of that. Let me try that and see if that looks any better. But I am not liking that. That looks really subtle. I think I like that better than this. Let's give it a try. Okay, great. Thank you. Hi, Miss Carol. There's my girlfriend. We just celebrated our friend anniversary. Yeah, I'm liking this better than the um, polka dot. Much better. All right, we're ditching the polka dots, and we're going with a different color. Because that, this is just too, too yucky. No biggie. Having a good day. I have a very close family member that is trying to help their dog hang on right now, and it's just heart wrenching. One, two, three, four, five. I need four more. At 13. We're ditching the polka dots and we're adding this. It's, it's a nicer combination. The other one was just 
not um, meshing well with the burlap. I think I like this better. See, doesn't that look better? Looks better against this. Oh, much better. Sparkle and contrast. Woo -hoo. That was easy. I've been struggling with that all morning. I thought that's not going to look great. But we got it. Okay. Thank you, Donna. We just found out from the emergency vet last night that the dog has tumors. That they didn't know about. Their vet didn't catch it. So it's heart wrenching. They're a part of the family, and it's like losing your best bud have my share of that this year. Actually, last year. Yes. So heart-wrenching. See, doesn't that look better? than that and this. This was just too close to that. So I'm liking this combination better. Reminds me of a, a mermaid. If you wouldn't mind sharing, I'd really appreciate it. We're not using the, the notifications anymore because I don't want to be in Facebook jail. So, This is also picking up on the, the metallic that's in the mesh, too, so it really complements that. Oh, I love that. That's so much better. Woohoo! Problem solved. Do you all have pets? What kind of pets do you have? Little dogs, big dogs? Yes, they have, Susan. They've, and it's gonna change even more come January 15th. So, I'm trying to stay out of trouble. I don't need no stinking trouble. Don't want any problems. It always amazes me how some some dogs get along so well with cats when they're not supposed to get along.
well, they're going to take away mini chat. And mini chat is an outside um, application that we use to notify everyone when we go live. And see, they really don't want an outside application being used on their on their Facebook page, on their, you know, their business. So looks like they're going to come out with something that we're probably going to have to pay for. And I think, you know, I guess they have every right to do that. It is their business. But I think in the long run, it's going to hurt us little businesses. Oh, that's sweet, Linda. I have Yorkies. Seven of them. I breed and board and groom. So there we go. There's our top layer. See? I think this looks much better. All right, let's work on the, oh, we finished the bottom, let's work on the top now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. But they are, they're, boy, are they really changing it up. They're making it really difficult on the little guys. But like I said, it's their page. They have every right to do what they want to do. That doesn't mean we agree. But we're all about the glitter on this one. Glitter, glitter. I know, that's what my husband says. What don't you do? I'm a one-stop shop. You buy a Yorgi, I babysit it, I groom it, I have dog food for you. Then I do classes downstairs in my basement here. I have a class I'm doing tomorrow night. We're doing signs. I like being around people. That's what I like about our design group because our design group is not like this where you guys type something and I read it. It's actually a Zoom call so you get to talk to us personally. We get to say hi to your face. You get to ask us questions. That's what I love about it. Everybody has input. I am just loving being part of it too with seven other designers everybody has different tastes and different um, things that they excel at and we just all share and it's awesome even Lori hardworking mom is a part of our group too so that's that's fun I guess I'm the type of person who can't sit still. Another sales call. I bought a phone that I could block numbers and not have to pick it up for these darn sales calls. Well, wouldn't you know, you only get 150. So now, Every time they call, I can't block them. So my husband said, why don't you just stop answering it? Put an answering, put a message on there. It says, if you want to leave a message, feel free to do so. And sure enough, they're still calling, but I'm not answering. I'm not sure... 
Oh, the group is 1995, Susan, and it's 1995 a month. There's no contract. You could stop at any time. We meet on Monday nights usually and Friday nights. We have been doing so much on there. The one night I showed everybody how to make decals with their um, printer. Uh, the other night I made little floral flower berries. That was fun. Um, the one night Dawn made a wreath with one of the gnomes that I designed. Tequila did a mailbox swag. Um, Rita did a beautiful cross out of just putting some pieces together of pine. Just a lot of different ideas and a lot of fun. We just had two new members sign up. So now it's going to get even more interesting. It's a Zoom call. You go to zoom.com, you type in the phone number we give you, and then when it says you ask you for the password, you ask for the password, and then voila, you're in. And you say, hi, Robin, and I say, hi, Susan. That's what I love about it. I get to say hi to your face. Not listen to you type, <laughs> even though I can't hear that either. <laughs> Okay, we've got all our tails on there. I'm liking this. This just gives it a little more pop. Better than this would have done. See? All right, so we have our sign from Affordable Reach Signs on Etsy. And I put those little um, cable ties on the back. I glued it on and I stuck my tinsel tie through there. So, think it's going to go right over here or should it go in the middle where should we place the sign what's your input side middle I have I have these little balls no I'm not liking those balls uh-huh well I also have these. I think I like these better. I'm going to have to shoot her a picture of this and she's going to have to tell me whether she likes it or not. I even have these balls if we wanted to add some in instead of these balls. So what's your flavor? We want it in the middle. Do we want it in the on the side? Where do you think? We're gonna put a bow on it. So a bow is imminent. Any suggestions? These just blend in too much. I don't know that I like those. I think this gives it the contrast that I'm looking for. Yes, definitely. You like it on the side? Side? Okay. All right, so so far we have two for the side. Let me get rid of some of this garbage. Get to spread the love, please. Yeah, see this? This is too much like it. If they were all like that, it may not be too bad, but I think really seriously, these look best. Alright, so we're gone with the side. Here we go. It's going in. We can't change our mind now. 
it's happening. And see how easy it is with these tinsel ties? Look at that. That is so easy. Yeah, I do too. I think these just kind of blend in too much. Which if you were, you know, you were trying to match everything, that would work, but it just doesn't work with this for me. But like I said, I will send her a picture and if she wants those on it, I will put it back on. But I'm liking this better. Okay, we're gone in. We're gone in for the second one. Gotta find my way between a ruffle. You can, they're on craft outlet. They're on, um, what's the other one you said? Um, Trendy Tree, um, Sims. They have them. Now, you probably won't find it as tinsel ties. You might find it as rope tinsel pine. It's usually in a thing of 26 inches. Now, some of them have it in like that, or I'll show you the other one. I think it was Craft Outlet that I got it in the circles. Might have been Trendy Tree. See, some of it, it comes like this, and then other companies sell it like this. But I, I love it. Usually it's like 26 inches, and I cut all mine at 12 inches. I probably don't need it that long, but when I have ornaments or something I'm going to place on there, I kind of like to do that. Um, and see how easy it was to find the, uh, the sign, the ones to the sign? They just stuck right through there, because I lost my needle, the one I used. So, all right, now I think what we'll do is we'll make the bow next and then we'll see if we want it here and then the balls up here, but I am, I am liking it so far. This is something that I don't think the person she's giving this to has seen before and because she loves owls, this will be something totally unique. Now, I think I'm going to use my easy bow, and I'm going to need some tinsel tie. I have an open package. I have got out some, some tubing, but I don't, I don't think the tubing is going to look great right either. Let's just see. Well, it kind of picks up on the blue because it has that little um, iridescent color in there. So I don't know. Okay, do we want tubing in there? That's a little accent. Okay, while I'm making the bow, you decide. Tubing or no tubing. Okay. Now I'm going to get a nice big piece. Again, I think 12 inches will do for the, let's go 14. Thank you. I just find them easier to glue to the, to the frame. I just, I, to me, they just work so much nicer. 
All right, so we're going to go with the big blue one on the bottom. A lot of blue and turquoise and tan here. I love those colors. Me too. So I'm going to do about a 14 inch tail. All right. So, and then. Trying to think. I want to do a funky bow. Let's do a funky bow. And I'm going to do them about six and a half inches on the first layer. Now, funky bow is where you have two loops. Yeah, two loops on one side, and then a tail and a loop on the other side. Let's get down and funky. Okay, so we've got our two loops on one side. We've got our loop on the other side, and now we're going to do the two tails. Voila. So, on this side, we're going to start with the tail. Okay, let me see. Yep. So, we've got the 14 inch tail. Turn it. And I'm going to go just a smidge less than the other side. appreciate all of you joining me. Nice little relaxing Wednesday afternoon. Yes, I, I think so. I think we have to add that. Okay, so we got two loops, one loop, and then two tails. So the next one is going to be this one. Oh, this came from Target. Okay, and then we'll go just a little bit smaller again. And twist. Again, you know, when you're making it, you can do it however you want. And then we'll finish up with our sparkly, sparkly. smaller than the last one. Twist. Thank you. Shirley, am I pronouncing that or sh am I pronouncing that right? Shirley. I butchered it. I so apologize. I would not want to do that. We have so many unique names on here. Well, how about that? These are the colors. These, this actually is going in a living room. Sign came from Affordable Reads Shop. A wreath signs, is it? Portable wreath signs on Etsy. Shout 
she had somebody that listed their picture and they did it all in spring colors. Boy, was that pretty. Spread the love, please. All right, so we got our tinsel tie here. So we're going to tie this real tight. And see, this is another thing I like about it. I can grip these tinsel ties. Other, the pipe cleaners, I just can't do. And the thin wire, forget it. Oh my gosh. That is just awful. Oh, we lost a loop here. Let's fix it before we go any further. No biggie. There it is, right there. Woohoo! Okay. Now, wait a minute. Let's do this right. We're going to undo it and put it with the rest of the group. I don't like being out here all by itself. Because this tinsel tie is really thick. So we want it to look right. Okay, so there, pinch and twist. Take it back. And twist. There we go. It's where it needs to be. There we go. All right, let's move some of this clutter out my I had this too I didn't know what that would look like pieces of that in there too but I think you're right I think it needs some tubing see look at that look at how easy that is to put on there I'm loving it you all have to get yourself some tinsel ties definitely Now usually with Funky Bow, this is supposed to look like the head, this is supposed to look like the arms, and these two tails are supposed to be the legs. Then you go the opposite with your next layer. Tails go this way to be the feet. And you got your one, two, three. Now, back to this one here. But because this is the same color as the one underneath, I think I'm going to switch it. There we go. There we go. Much better. See, it's my bow. I can do that. There we go. And then we got the last color. Thanks for joining Sally or Susan. I really appreciate it. I'll post a picture of the final and then I'll have it showing on YouTube. In these colors now. Okay. Now we'll take it off and put it on our wreath. And then we will add our little balls. And then we'll see where we want to put some of this. Because I think that'll really, really improve it. 
Yikes. Okay. I'm thinking about right here. I kind of like it right there. Going in, we're diving. Get this through. And with the tinsel tie, look how easy that is. When I find the divide, there it is. it underneath. So easy to do with the tinsel tie. Let's feather this under. Look at that. this. I think I want it over here. Yes. I'll be messing with this bow for a while. There we go. Okay. Loving that. All right. Now we decided on the brown balls because these just did not do it justice. Now you could put that in the middle of your bow if you wanted, but these just do not do not go. So we're going to go with these and we're going to do, let's see, one, and I think I'm going to put one in the middle, one, two, and then the third one down here. See? That's where they're going to go. Now let's just see if we want to do this. No. Okay. And I have some of those. I have them in darker, but I think the balls work. So we're not going to mess with that. Now let's see if we want tubing. Sometimes you don't know in a design until you try. Alright. We're just going to go ahead and get this thing right on there. So I'm not chasing it all over. There we go. Now, for this, I'm just going to put a little glue on here, and then I'm going to use my tinsel tie, and I'm going to push it right down on my tinsel tie. And then I'm going to tuck that one back in. See? Doesn't that look good? Awesome sauce. Alright, now this one... I got some tinsel tie in the middle there, so it should grab right on that ball. There. Love it. Don't you just love it? Are you guys like taking a nap? Or are you with me? Are you with me? Time to wake up and smell the coffee. Look at that. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. See that? I got my triangle. You want the triangle. All right. 
now let's see if we want to use some of this. So, we're going to put a few on, and then you tell me what you think. Yay or nay? Let's start up here. think that looks like in there. Yay or nay? Yes or no? What you thinking? <laughs> well, Linda, what I would do is I would twist and then turn them under kind of bury them in there. Bring my my ribbon out a little more. That's what I would do with them. Exactly what you would do with a pipe cleaner. You could snip it if you want. I don't like snipping it because I think it just weakens everything. That's just me. But what do you think? Yay or nay to the to the tubing? Are you liking it? It has an iridescent um, color to it that kind of matches the um, the turquoise. I just don't know if it cheapens it. I don't like cheap. See, Linda? I just twist it and then I tuck it under. And I pinch it down. And it stays. Okay, we get yay. Wait till my sister-in-law watches this. She's never seen me make a wreath before. She doesn't have Facebook. So I said when I post it on YouTube, you can go watch me. So that's what she plans on doing. I said that way you can see the wreath being made. So she'll see that I definitely made the right choice on the um, on the balls because this just didn't do anything for it. I'm put these off. Where's the end? There it is. Come on. I don't measure this, I just kind of eyeball it in my hand. I always have two loops on each side and then two tails. Let's crush it in there, the tinsel tie. They crush oh so well. And then you catch any loose mesh. Had it. There we go. I think it's going to blow her away when she sees this. Y'all think so? I'm going to say they all said nay to the blue balls, yay to the brown balls. 
And then they said yay to the tinsel rope. Or a deco mesh rope, whatever you want to call it. I'm loving it. Just gonna tuck down in there because so I'm going all around the outside with the with the deco mesh tubing. Okay, we got one, two, three more to go. And maybe one here and one there. Oh, there's one here. Let's do this one. See, and then I just bend my tie back under. Oh, so neatly. Pull out my tails, adjust them. I so appreciate y'all hanging out with me. makes it much more fun knowing you guys are there with me sticking it out and you tell me you're not napping oh. we got our ball in one of the ties here so we're just gonna put our roping in the other tie oh look at that One over here. We're gonna tuck this down in because we don't need one back there. We got our tails sticking up. We got one over here. Gosh, I love these rich colors, don't you? Tie showing there, we got to get rid of. Let's pinch that down, pinch that down, Just fix this. I think we got them all. Okay, we got it. So we did the shape test, nothing fell off. What do you think? Are you loving it? Are you feeling it? I know. That's what I like about it. Just that shimmer, that, that rich shimmer. I like shimmer. I like glitter. I was glittering the, uh, the um, ballerina tree I did on my live on Monday. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got glitter everywhere upstairs. In the kitchen. Whew. I don't think my husband liked that. Yes. Yes, they would. 
definitely. And I have a sign to make one, but see, what do you think? I'm liking it. I'm just hoping she likes it. I'll let you know. If she says, I don't know, I'll say, look, the girls and I decided, right? Caddy Wampus, there we go. I've been stressing over this wreath for a week now. Just trying to come up with the colors, you know. But I think we got it. And I, I, I let her do input all along the way because, you know, she's the one that's given this as a gift and I want her to be happy. She's my sister-in-law and I love her. And I don't want her being disappointed. So it was kind of like, okay, you're going to be involved in this whole process. So I think she's going to be blown away. <laughs> All right, I'll tell her. I'll say, look, if you don't want it, I got several people that do. This is little cattywampus here, this one. Trying to find the other end to pull it down. There we go. Better. I'm going to have to take that one apart and readjust that one. It's sitting up too high here. So I just need to get the right part out and the right part in. There it is. There. Oh, there we go. Now I'm happy. Yes, she did pick the owl. Her daughter loves owls. So she definitely wanted the owl. I had, oh my gosh, I have a ton of owls. I have these that I found at Walmart. I have. I kept buying owls because I wasn't sure which one she was going to like. I even have these, but but none of them, I felt, matched the sign. You know, like these are glittered ones. There's brown and there's red. Now, they wouldn't look too bad in it. A few of the brown ones. But these, you know, I thought, well, I could take them apart and put, and I thought, no, this would look cute in a winter wreath. Um, with some red mesh, so I'm going to save those. And then I had these, which they look hideous. <laughs> They're Dollar Tree, what can I say? Alright guys, I think we're good. And I so appreciate you joining me. I'll take a picture and send it to her, and I'll let you know if I got a thumbs up or a thumbs down. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a great rest of the day and evening and stay warm if you're cold. All right, and I'll be back on Monday night. I don't know what I'm making yet, but I'll think of something. All right, thank you.